Hey, how you doing? This is Tom. This is Tom's Radio Room Show, and I'm up in my office, and I've got my RSP Duo set up, that's what you're seeing here, and I'm just going to uh, do a band scan and see what we find. The Solar Flux Index, well, I think it was a 93 today, not very good. I'm using my G5RV antenna. I don't know the status of it. It's been up probably 25 or 30 years so the coax could be bad I don't know but I'm I'm getting some pretty good signals and we're just going to do a band scan and see what we find I'm using <clears throat> excuse me the Fran F-R-A-N plug-in which displays the names of the stations here and the database I'm using for Fran is much older than the database I'm using in the memory banks here for scanning, so they don't match ideally. In other words, it may stop on a station and it might not show anything here on the display because it's just not in the database. But you can also see the station name up here, and that name comes from the memory bank here, which is newer. Okay, here we go. Let me scan away. Okay, I'm gonna review this. I'm gonna need to change the hold time. A little too fast for me to catch it. We'll change it to 10 seconds. Oh, also, you're. Let me turn that down. You're hearing my scanner in the background. I just jumped in here. Thought I'd just try this. Okay, it's um, 7:50 here in Clearwater, Florida. Local time here in Clearwater, Florida. Okay. Now we'll try it again. <laughs> okay, this is, uh, let me pause. This is the side lobe of these stations right here, which is it's probably this one right here. This is in Cuba, I believe. Could be either one. There, that's, that's where the strong center of the signal is. Now there's Radio Havana. Strong signals tonight. Pretty clear weather. I could narrow this bandwidth down a little bit because it did stop it on some side loads. Yeah, it's just noise. Probably WRMI out of Miami, Florida. Side low. may have to set the uh, trip level. See, where's the squelts? This is squelts down there. Let's move that up. 
There we go. Let's try that. Oh, that's strong. We were watching your NDUS. We again. Could, it, could that be a BBC? Oh, pause here. Yeah. Pretty scratchy. Strong signal. Turn the gain up a little bit. That yeah, could be this signal over here. Let's let it go. Yeah, WWCR out of Tennessee. Bring it back down. Probably oh, this guy over here. That could be the overcomer ministry. Yeah, WRMI. It's interesting that, see how these signals are kind of oscillating, going up and down and up and down. That's kind of interesting. Whoa. That's a, what is, probably Debbie. I'm not sure. Strong signal. It could be any one of these. Move on. Pause there. China radio, maybe? I can do. Let me uh, mute this. 
I could go to the internet. What I really should have set up my tablet with a schedule program running. Because, yeah, I did make it. Okay. Let's go full scale. We'll go to short wave.info. And let's look up. What did we have here? 5 5.990. 5.990. 5.990. And let's see what they say it is. Oh, two stations. Come on. Uh, probably... Just saying, this one is most likely what I would be receiving. Should be broad. Oh, that's Radio Romania. Okay, let's. See. That sounds familiar. I don't know why I didn't remember that. So listen, it says it's supposed to be in English. Let's listen a bit. <laughs> That's definitely English. I think she said in Romania. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's Radio Romania. Um, it doesn't show up in my database as Radio Romania Mania, pff, Mania, and it doesn't show up in the database that Fran plugin is using. But you did see over here, right there, and this is an indication of the signal strength to my location and it's pretty high which it is and it says they're going to be broadcasting in English I did hear some English I think that's it good that's promising okay let's see what else we can find here Ooh. sorry bro. Signed in the Philadelphia Comprehensive Cooperation Agreement and expressing of the real folk nation. That's English. Six. Could be. Could be. Radio Habana. Let's look it up. Six. Look at this. The United States has a powerful impact on the development of biodiversity and the local and the Big signal. Look at this monster. Wait till it gets over there. Probably radio monotony. Yeah. 
HCJB. Yeah, right here. Yeah. Lots of signals there. We're probably going to have to. I'm probably going to have to stop the scan because there's just so many signals. We're only up to uh, just above 6 megahertz. And uh, I think we've been running for about 20 or 30 minutes. So my point is... Um, there's short wave out there, and it depends on the time of day you listen, what your setup is, whether you're using a telescopic antenna on the back of a radio or use an outside antenna like I'm doing now. Lots of variables, and uh, plenty of things to listen to. So it's not that short wave's dead, it's just the low propagation is what's been killing us. Just not been able to see much, but like I say, the weather has been perfect today in Florida. It's very clear outside, and um, I'm picking up all kinds of stations. So I'm I'm going to stop this because uh, this could take you know hours to get through the whole band. So what I really really need to do is make a um, a database here, a memory bank here, with my favorite stations, so it doesn't take a long time to scan. And I did kind of clean this up a little bit. I took out some of the utility stations and uh, spy number stations. I took those out. But I still got to do a lot of cleaning. As you can see, it's still got a lot of stations in the database. So that's it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this show, please give me a thumbs up. And have a great day. Bye-bye.